Health officials fear that the number of polio cases are going up. The health department reports that 260 patients show a polio symptom called acid flaccid paralysis, which weakens the muscles from waist down. To stop the disease from spreading, senators vowed in a Senate hearing to raise the fund for polio vaccines with at least 80 million pesos. Health officials said vaccination rates have dropped to 66%, especially after the scare caused by the Dengvaxia vaccine. To encourage parents to have their children vaccinated against polio, health officials say they are considering cutting doses from five to only one. Doctors also advise parents to always keep their children's hands clean. Hindi siya parang flu or parang ano na or meaning coxing na sa hangin mo makukuha ng measles. Makukuha mo lang siya kung makain mo yung contaminated ng uo ng may polio. So maghugas ka lang ng kamay, hygiene lang. The World Health Organization or WHO declared the Philippines polio free in the year 2000, but after 19 years, the crippling disease is making a comeback. The first recent case of polio was detected in Lao del Sur this month, followed by another case in Laguna. Authorities say samples from the sewage in Metro Manila and the waterways of Davao City also tested positive for polio virus. But what is polio? Polio is an infectious disease that attacks the nervous system. It can infect a person's brain and spinal cord, which could result in paralysis. The polio virus can be transmitted in two ways. Number one, through direct contact with a person with polio, or number two, the oral, the oral fecal route. The virus enters the body through the mouth and spreads through the feces of an infected person. But here's the catch. According to the Mayo Clinic, most people who get infected with the polio virus will not have any visible symptoms. So people can be carriers without even realizing it. But the main reason for polio's return is the drop in vaccination rates. Since 2013, few, fewer people have been getting them, themselves vaccinated. From 88% in 2012 to 79% in 2015 to just 66% in 2018. This is a far cry from our target of 95%. Authorities see two reasons for the decline in the vaccination rates. First, what they call false vaccine confidence. People stopped getting vaccinated because they did not expect polio to return. And second, anti-vaxxers or people who do not believe in vaccines or are simply afraid of getting vaccinated. But the Department of Health says the polio that they are seeing could be what they call vaccine-derived polio meaning the virus could be traced from the weakened virus in the vaccine. Vaccines contain weak virus strains which triggers the body to develop antibodies to combat or fight the disease. Now, once the virus enters the body, our immune system would know what to do. The weak virus from the vaccine is then excreted well, uh, by the body. But once excreted, the weak virus can still mutate and stay in places with bad sanitation. Now, the longer this virus circulates, the more it can mutate and become stronger. Which brings us back to our first problem. With fewer people getting vaccinated and the virus detected in the sewage and waterways, more people can now get infected. So please do have yourselves vaccinated, especially children five years old and below.